Hey there, uh, this video is all about mixing 4K video with HD video. We'll discuss how to scale the small stuff up and the big stuff down. All right, before we get started, let's close this project. It's getting a little confusing trying to throw everything into that same project. We're gonna make our own new project. Okay, so either file new, or go to this new file project button, and we're gonna call this one tech info. I'm gonna call it V1, because I can't think of a better name, and I'm gonna stick mine on my desktop. Uh, it's just like a throwaway project just to kind of show us, a f you know, to practice a few things. Click choose, click OK. Let's import a couple of files. So just double clicked in the project window. We're going to bring in Clouds HD and UHD. Click import. All right, next up, let's create a sequence. We're just going to create a little turned up page here. We're going to create a kind of a sequence on our own. So we're going to use just a really common uh, HD uh, size is under digital SLR and we'll use this one here, uh, the 1080, which is the height and 25 frames per second. We'll talk about frames per second in a sec. Okay, we'll call this one, uh, let's call this one mountains. This one's going to be the HD version. Okay, so what happens when I've got this HD size, okay, it's 1080 high, but I want to put in the UHD or the 4K footage. I drag it onto the timeline, you get this warning. Okay, the clip does not match the sequence settings. What do you want to do? Okay, and you get to decide. I want to just keep the settings as I've got it. Okay, keep it HD, because that's what I want it to be. Or you can say, actually, yeah, I didn't realize they didn't match. Uh, I want you to upgrade and change my sequence to match this new bit of footage going onto it. And it will transform it from being HD to, to UHD to match the footage. So you've got to decide what you want to do here. If you don't get this warning dialog box, it's kind of hard to get it to come up sometimes. Uh, I find it a little bit, uh, sometimes it appears and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, let's say keep existing settings. And if you can't find that little um, warning dialog box and you want it, it's under Premiere Pro Preferences. Okay, and in your, um, on a PC, it's slightly different. It's under Edit and down the bottom here, Preferences. Okay, and then go to this one called Timeline. Um, it used to be in general, just check if they've moved it back. Okay, but at the moment it's under Timeline and it's this one here. It says Show Clip Mismatch Warning Dialog Box. You can turn that back on. Okay, so it came in and you're like, okay, great, it's kept HD and it's put my really big footage on here and it plays back okay. Okay, I've got lowered my quality a little bit, but it's just really massive. Okay, so let's go to a view of like 25. If I click on my footage, you'll see that, actually just double click it in the screen, you can see it's actually a lot bigger than that size. So you wanna shrink it down, you've got two ways of doing it. Let's zoom in on our footage here. The two ways are in the same place. Okay, you right click your footage and you have uh, scale to frame size and set to frame size. They do a very similar job, um, but basically, mm, I'll explain the difference between, but you're, you want to do set to frame size all the time, pretty much, okay? Think you're all set with set. <laughs> this is best as I could do, okay? But um, set is good, <laughs> scale is bad. Basically, if I do scale, okay, or I do set, they look like they're doing the same job. Um, scaling down actually lowers the quality of the footage, so if you ever have to like lift it up again later on, um, it will actually be quite pixelized. Or you know, So this is kind of like scaling it down, but also pulling the resolution out of it. If we look at the effects controls, okay, uh, under motion, you can see the scale, so I'll undo it, so I right click it and if I do scale, scale's bad because it's left the um, scale at 100 and just kind of like ripped out a lot of the quality. Okay, so now if I try and scale it up to like 110, oh, you know, 200%, okay, it's actually pixelizing it and kind of like making it not as good as it was. So if I do the same one, okay, but I use, we're all set with frame size. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, it's scaled at 50% and I can come back up and it's still got all that good quality in there. Okay, so you're all set with set um, to kind of resize it down. Let's go back up to 50. There we go. Works the same way the other way around. So let's go to our project window and let's do a 4K version. Okay, to make a 4K version, if you want to make one by itself without using the footage to get started, okay, you can go into new sequence and there's not a lot. I feel like Adobe probably in the future are going to have a nice uh, UHD or 4K kind of drop down. Mm, at the moment, probably the easiest one is under your red camera. Okay, they've got a 4K um, little sequence here. 
bunch of different kinds of 4K. But let's click on this one here, 25 frames per second. And you can see this is the wrong one. Okay, so it's the it's too too wide for us. We want fake 4K, which is HD 4K. Okay, even a different word for it. So the same thing. Let's have a look at this one. You can see here it's the proper width, 3840. Okay, so let's click OK in that one. You can give it a name here before we go out. Okay, so this one's going to be mountains, and this one is going to be 4K. All right, if we add our HD footage, okay, we're going to drag it and edit. Okay, it's going to say, what would you like to do? I'm going to say, I want it to keep 4K, please. Just keep the existing settings. And what I'd like to do is the same thing. Right click it and blow it up. Okay, remember, you're all set with <laughs> set to frame size, and that's going to be the best way of doing it. It doesn't really matter as much when you're scaling it up. Know that it's going to kind of be 4K. Okay, we'll scale it up, but obviously the quality is not there. Okay, it's going to try and stretch it bigger. So if you're combining two, so let's say we've got um, this actual 4K footage. Okay, that fits in there nicely. Playback is a little slow because it's so big. Okay, so I'm going to lower my quality down. But this one here is actual 4K, and this one here is just blown up to 4K. So you, yeah, you've matched the two. You've got to decide whether you want to bring the lower quality stuff up to match 4K, or do you want to lower the 4K stuff down to be the exact same as the HD stuff? All right, that's enough of that nerdery. Uh, 4K, UHD, HD, matching it. That's going to be it for the moment. Let's get on to the next video. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel here, and also, if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.